everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel and a new project. Um, so this time I've decided to go back to World War I. I've made a couple of models before in the past uh, from this time period, uh, but only just a couple, so I thought it'd be nice to revisit this part of history again. Um, for this I've got some inspiration uh, whilst at the IPMS Telford show uh, last year in November, and from one of the six stands in particular, um, this special interest group had a number of World War I dioramas on their stand and as you can see they've been beautifully done. Um, so while looking around the two halls for some ideas and a scenario I could perhaps create, um, I came across these two kits uh, featuring the Belgian army. Um, this one, the first is the Minerva, Minerva Armoured Car, it's by Latvian company CSM. Um, and also from ICM, uh, their World War I Belgian Infantry. Um, but I'll have a closer look at these kits later on. Whilst also at the show, I came across uh, Great North Roads, who had a fantastic selection on their stand of uh, plaster-made uh, diorama bases. Um, really good quality, uh, nicely detailed, so it took me ages to decide on which one I could use perhaps for this diorama. Um, but I eventually came, uh, decided on this one. This is their street crossing, uh, GNR 071. Um, basically, it's just a little cobbled street um, with a railway track running across it, a small building ruin, uh, and a wall opposite. Um, to add some interest to this, I separately got hold of uh, another ICM kit. This is their German in set infantry from 1914. So it goes well with the Belgians at the beginning of the war. Um, uh, I'm going to try and customize and alter slightly some of these guys they won't be walking as you can see um, but instead there'll hopefully be a couple of German casualties if I can uh, if it works out well and I've also got plus models uh, furniture set this is their furniture study group uh, furniture study room um, which I am planning to use just as a makeshift barricade across the street uh, as opposed to using in the building so the overall view of how I want this to eventually look is I'll have the Minerva uh, the armor car will be out of action. Um, I'll damage it somehow, but quite limited, really. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, basically, so there's the troops. The troops can't use it. The Belgian infantry, who are in all in firing positions, uh, as you can see, uh, will be spaced around taking cover, uh, and providing that cover will be the baronet cade across the street and also the Minerva. So first off, I'm going to uh, take a closer look at this. Open the box up, see what's in here for the plaster building. Uh, before creating a base uh, for it all to sit on. So this is Great North Roads, uh, their, their street crossing diorama, uh, code GNR071. Um, and like I said before, what really attracted me to them was the, the detail, in the, the quality detail of the products and the variety of different products um, that they had. So you can see we've got the railway tracks here um, with the, the, wooden, the wooden planks of wood going across. Um, we've got some rubble with some bricks and, and bits and pieces in there, which is quite nice. The cobblestone roads, um, this is where the small wall will go across the, the road from the, the, the part of the building. The paving slabs, again, really nicely, all picked out. And you've even got the floorboards, which is a nice touch for the, the ground floor of the house. One thing that, that I wasn't so quite so keen on is the, the cobblestones, as you can see here. Um, not very well defined as opposed to some of the other parts like the rubble and the pavement. It's a little bit blurry and it's almost almost smooth in some places. Um, whereas like some other companies uh, to pick out all those individual cobblestones is, is, uh, is much nicer. But apart from that, a uh, really nice piece, really quite heavy um, and a solid piece of, uh, of board to uh, start working on. quite a nice little piece um, something you could use for a, a number of subjects 
uh, throughout Europe probably. Um, although the house as well as well as the the base is, is nicely detailed, um, the brickwork is quite similar to the the cobbles on the on the road. As in, there's not a lot of definition between the bricks. So on past projects and models that I've made, uh, plaster models or, or from Mini Arts Plastic, there's some definition between the brickwork so you could fill that with some mortar. Um, but unfortunately here it's very, very fine. So uh, you would just be painting the bricks and maybe just running a wash along there just to pick out all the bricks individual. Um, and the, uh, the wall opposite the, the building as well, uh, that's quite nice. Um, but one thing I'm going to probably do, as you'll see in a moment, is sand all this down um, this is like a rubble effect i'm um, sand this down to to maybe put some grass there or some flowers um, make it look sort of a park scenario um, and i'm also going to extend the front a little bit um, again you'll see what i mean in a moment um, so that'll be quite interesting to try and do but apart from that um, i really like it said this is by company uh, CSM which I've never used before um, what really drew me to to this this kit itself was was the box art and the really nice drawing or picture on the front of the car thought it looked really unusual um, and as I said before that's why I decided to uh, build a model the diorama around uh, around the car itself um, on the side uh, you've got some painting guides there depending on when and where you want to place it, uh, starting from September 1914, which is roughly where I'm going to be, right up to uh, the gendarmerie uh, unit in 1919. So inside the box itself, uh, there's another little piece of box art, uh, nice little picture there. Um, and what really grabbed my attention when I first opened this um, and impressed me was their, was their instruction book. So the instruction book is pretty much like a, a real book in itself, because as soon as you open it, you come across the, the history um, of the Minerva Armoured Car with loads of text um, and some really nice reference photos in black and white. Obviously not much good for the painting guides, but it gives you uh, a nice little bit of reference to, to what you're building, which you obviously don't see in many other um, instruction books. So that's a nice, really nice little addition uh, that CSM have done. Then you get onto the instructions themselves about halfway through the book um, and all the, the sprues that are used. And then, uh, the, like I say, the steps to building it. And one thing that they do do, which is really nice, which I don't think I've seen in any other books, is the, the parts you're about to use are highlighted in blue. So you can see exactly which part and where it's going to be added, um, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, and like I say, I've never seen that anywhere else before. Um, so that's a really nice piece that they've done. Um, so a few pages of instructions. And then by the time you get to page 29, you're onto the painting guides, um, like we saw on the side of the box. And again, you can see um, the different options to painting and also obviously uh, what decals you want to use. Um, nice camouflage scheme that they, they include there. Um, the German captured um, Minerva. Um, and then I think that's the gendarmerie one. So there's plenty of options there depending on when and where you want to use it. Um, and then right at the end, there's a nice little guide on uh, the restoration of these cars and then modern day when and where they use them in shows and put them on display and everything.
to right now. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the build process so far. I'm really pleased with how it's all turning out. Obviously, in the next video, I've got a lot of weathering and filters to add to the brickwork, uh, the cobblestones, uh, paint up the figures, the Minerva, um, and obviously the furniture for the barricade. Add a little bit of resin in here for, the, for a pool of muddy water. Um, pick out some of the groundwork and the details and I'll do a little park area here with some plants and some flowers since it's set in uh, August or September 1914. Um, one thing I'm just going to add though is to the back here I thought there was a little bit of dead space so what I've done is I've bought a little market cart from Mini Art um, and added some, um, some equipment and some accessories there um, just to add again a little bit more of a feature um, which I think adds to the, the overall diorama. Thank you.